a video. It's a tag. Um, it is the top 10 products that you'd repurchase. Sorry, I had like a brain fart for a second. But I got tagged by two people, so I was like, why not? Um, I got tagged by Strawberry Electric 48 and Adobs. Their link will be in the description box. So yeah, and I have everything in my little bucket. Little cute little bucket right here. First thing that I would repurchase is number one. This isn't any order, so yeah. Um, it's my MAC Minera Skin Finish in Medium Plus. Um, it looks like this, so yeah. And the thing I, oh, I just covered that up. See, it's like good coverage. Um, but it's really light and it doesn't like look like you're a cake face or anything, so I guess that's good. You can get this from MAC for like 20, 20, Something. Next thing is my NYC lip stain in Forever Fuchsia. I have this on my lips right now. You've probably seen it in a lot of my tutorials. But the brush just looks like this. Um, yeah, oh. And then the swatch looks like this. Probably seen this in a lot of my tutorials. But yeah, I really like it. I this from Target for like $5. Next thing is my Bass Q. I don't know how to pronounce this, so sorry if I'm like butchering it. Because it's Bass Q. It's like... You know, it says B A S Q. So yeah, and it's base. It. Why do I keep saying basically? I'm sorry. It's a jelly form thing, and um, it's green. It's green tea. It doesn't smell like it. It smells gross. But um, I really like this putting it under my under eye circles because it helps that, and it's kind of like a concealer base. And I got this from my glossy box from a couple months ago. I'm going to try to find this product for you guys, and if I do, I will link it in the description box. I'm not really sure how much it is because it was in my glossy box. So yeah, a two palette by Urban Decay. Why do I keep tilt? Okay, this is a habit of mine. Okay, I tilt my head, and I'm just like, <sighs> okay. I don't know, I need to start like focusing on you guys and stop like checking me out, okay? So I'm sorry about that. So anyways, is my Naked 2 palette. I love this so much. I got this for my 100,000 subscriber contest um, person and um, that's why I got it because, no, actually I didn't get it because of that. I got it because so many people like raved about it and stuff. So my contest winner got it before I did. So you should feel special. Um, okay. I'm sorry if I'm blinding you. Oh my gosh, I just ruined the mirror. Sad life. But it comes with like a really pretty selection of colors. I really like it. And I don't have the I don't have the Naked One palette, so I'm not really sure how to compare it. But it comes with a brush and yeah. Um the colors in here are so pretty. Oh and you can get this from Sephora for about $50. Depends where you get it, because you can get it for $60 or whatever. Or you know what? You can get it from Amazon for $47, okay? You can save $3, okay? You should do that because it's amazing. And you save $3, so holler. Um, next product is my Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzer Palette. It comes with a, like, peachy pink color, and then it comes with a bronzy color. This is a definite, definite, definite dupe for the NARS Um duo thing you guys probably have seen it i don't know what it's called ever get the nars thing for like christmas or anything um i will definitely do a comparison i think that would be fun and like a lot of people would like it so bam bam it is for three dollars at target so number six is my urban decay what is it called i'm trying to name that actual thing urban decay super curl curling mascara and this is the name describes all of it like i'm wearing it right now my eyelashes Okay, don't mind my eyeliner. Look at it. It's so messed up from the whole day at school. Okay, just, just, just ignore that. I messed it up, okay? I'm just... Ah, don't even comment about that. Um, but I really like this mascara. Just ignore the eyeliner, you know? Um, but yeah, it's amazing and I love it. And the brush just looks like this. It's like a swoop, like a scoop. Um, I love this mascara so much. It's amazing and it's very, it's really stiff and that's the only, okay, let me know if you guys want me to do like a mascara routine or like my tips on like lashes. I don't know. I, is that weird? Um, because I was fine that the jiggly ones, like the jiggle jiggle um, mascaras are so flimsy. It just bugs me so much. I need to go and rant on it because it's just bugging me so much. Like, mm, don't even get me started. But, um, this is a mini one. I 
Yeah, I really want to buy the full size one, definitely. Get this from Sephora, I don't know how much, but I will link it in the description box. Okay, this is just gonna be one. This is just gonna count as one because I'm a cheater. Um, but it's first the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Medium Beige. This is like $30 from Sephora, but it's so worth it. Um, it covers all my under eye circles and I love it. Um, but it's, ugh, it's just a dream and like, just, ugh. I love it so much. It's amazing. This is like thirty dollars. Then, if you get if you get the concealer, you need to get the setting powder because it's ah, uh, um, it's called the amazing, uh, the amazing cosmetics velvet mineral powder set. And I usually put this over my concealer after I do that. Um, but yeah, and it's white. It's just a translucent powder. This is like thirty dollars too. So you need to like splurge on that definitely. Or yeah, number eight is my dream, my Maybloom Dream Bouncy Blush, and I've had a love-hate relationship for this, definitely, I'm sorry, um, and this is in Pink Plum, I used to not like this at all, but then I started liking it, because you know that happens, um, and it's no, okay, this just, just pisses me off, sorry, excuse my language, I don't know, some of you guys think that pisses is like, it's like ping, but, anyways, um, but this thing just, it just makes me mad. It's not bouncy. It doesn't bounce on the ground. Like, I could take a glob. It wouldn't bounce. Like, it should just be like Maybelline. Dr wait. Maybelline Dream. Maybelline? Ma Maybelline Squishy Blush. Like, it's not bouncy. It's just squishy, okay? Mm -hmm. That just makes me mad. But it's in Pink Plum, and it's just like a nice pinky color. I like it. I usually use it for my lips, though. Number nine is my MAC. MAC Paint Pot and Bear Study. This is my, oh my gosh, this is my love in my life. It's such a pretty champagne-y color. Um, you, for a different base that you could use is probably the Benefit RSVP. That's one of my favorites too. It's just a champagne-y. Champagne-y. Ah, don't look at the background. We're moving. Um, but it's just champagne-y and I, I, I love it. And you can get this for MAC. Yeah, and you can get these from Sephora. Last number 10 is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which everyone knows about this. You can get this from Sephora for like $17. It's just amazing. It is just a primer for your eyeshadow. It's amazing. So that is my top my top 10 repurchase products I would repurchase. Okay, the title will be above here. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Have a great day. And I will have everyone that I tag in the down bar description box. And I tag you. So that's who I tag. I tag you who's watching this video. And leave a video response down below when you make the video. So, love you guys. And have a great day. I keep tilting my head. I'm sorry. Um, have a great day. Love you guys. Okay, bye. Mwah. Okay, wait, oh, wait, we have to give each other a hug. Give me a hug. Mwah. Okay, bye. Love you.